I played AFL as a, as a young kid down there as well and obviously football um, from under sevens and uh, it wasn't really until I moved to, to Queensland at about 10 years of age that I, I really started to focus on my, on my football and um, became a goalkeeper and started training hard at that and um, I just love the, love the sport, I just you know, have a real passion for it and I'm not sure what it, what it is or you know, the specifics of it that, that really attract me to the game but why I get up in the morning is so that I can uh, you know, become a better goalkeeper. I was at Gold Coast United which was obviously the, the club that collapsed to pave the way for the Wanderers to be created so um, you know, obviously having to, to go through all the, uh, the things that, that come with you know, losing your job and, and being out of football. Um, it was a, a, a long process from the, the time that we knew Gold Coast was finishing up to, to signing here at the Wanderers, but um, you know, obviously being able to compare the two now, I think the FFA made a, made a fantastic decision and obviously the people of Western Sydney will certainly agree with that and, and certainly all followers of the A-League will, will probably agree with that as well and you know, I'm very happy to be here. It was just a, a, special, a special year, I've been fortunate enough to, to talk to a lot of the people that, that came and supported us last year and, and, and jumped on board with the club and you know it's not just a, it's not just a football club and yeah, I think that was the, the real success last year is we didn't just build a, a team that played on weekends you know we created you know something that everyone felt a part of and and uh, you know the, the clubs changed a lot of lives and so you know I really enjoy talking with the, the people of the community I really enjoy being around them and I know when I was, I was young I had idols of my own and you know it was always uh, always meant the world to me to be able to go and meet one of them or, or to spend some time or to talk to them and I, I always said that you know if I ever got into the position where I, where I am now where you know I'm living my dream and um, doing something that's important to my life that I would uh, you know I wouldn't be like that and you know I'd be someone that was always you know open and available to, to the people that looked up to, to the position that I'm in you know I've only been here for about 12 or 13 months but you know Western Sydney definitely feels like home now and it's somewhere that you know I certainly hope to uh, to be for a few more years to come uh, I developed a, a stress fracture in one of my lower vertebras and um, unfortunately became quite painful and you know walking was an issue, um, sleeping was an issue, you know I couldn't bend down to, to pick up a ball and it just got to a point where you know I wasn't able to, to help the team and um, you know we had to make the decision just to, to sit out for a few months. And I won't lie and say that it was easy, it was a, a very difficult um, very difficult time and it was probably one of the, the most difficult times that I've had in football. You know something that's uh, you know great about this club is that you know we're, we're very together as a team and the boys never allowed me to feel left out and um, you know it's been tough but you know five five or six months later and um, you know I'm feeling good again and, and looking forward to a, another massive season you know fitter and stronger than I've ever been. Um, you know I, I learned a lot last year um, being able to, to sit back and, and watch and see how he Ante plays the game and and obviously working with, with Ron Corey and the thing that I really love about him is that uh, you know he's always pushing for perfection and Ron's really good with us with that obviously he's got a an enormous wealth of experience and, and knowledge on the game that he, he likes to, to pass on to both of us and you know I've certainly um, certainly benefited from, from working with him over the last you know year or so. Certainly in the in the short term, my focus and and uh, my concentration and, and all of my energy is going to be going towards you know the Wanderers and and uh, you know I'm sure that if we keep improving as we, we did last year, that we'll we'll continue to taste success. And we have you know very ambitious players at this club and you know we're a club that, that wants success. We want a lot of success and you know we have the opportunity to, to win a lot of silverware this year and. And um, you know, we certainly will be doing our best to, to do that. The, the positive thing is it's all in our hands. Um, if we want it, then we have the opportunity to go and do it. Um, but right now, you know, it's going to take a lot of a lot of hard work, a lot of sacrifice, and um, and we're going to have to, to prove that um, that you know once again that we we deserve the right to, to be in those competitions. You know, we were great last year, but this is a whole new season. Um, you know, all the other teams are strengthening and improving, and and we have to do the same, or, or we're going to fall behind. So,